welcome to Cards by Kendra. I am excited to be a part of the Team Tiny Inspiration Hop. I was inspired by Penny Stone with Pod Popper's Place. I'll tell you a little bit more about Team Tiny as we go along through the video, but Penny created this adorable um, box card using the Honey Bee A2 Surprise Box die set. And even though I don't have this die set, I was I thought this card was really cool and I wanted to give it a try. So let's jump right in. For my card, I decided to use this stamp set called Sunshine and Friendship from MFT Stamps. I haven't had a chance to use it yet and I just think these little critters and the little floats are adorable. And so what I'm doing is I'm placing a sheet of Nina Solar Y 80 pound cardstock inside my Misty stamping platform. And I'm going to try to fit as many stamps as I possibly can on the top part of this sheet of paper so that I can stamp it and then turn my paper and stamp it again. I really like to color and I've been practicing my Copic coloring skills. And so I decided to go ahead and cut out a bunch of these because I also have some pattern paper that I want to make some additional cards with later on. So here I'm just inking up the stamps with some Tuxedo Memento, I'm sorry, M Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and color these off camera just to save on time. And I will list all of the different colors that I used for these images in the description box below. So to jump into making the card, I'm going to take a sheet of teal colored cardstock and I'm going to cut that at nine inches on the landscape side and then you want to turn and cut this at five and a half inches on the eight and a half inch side. Then you'll get a scoreboard and you'll score this at two and one eighth of an inch and then score again at four and one fourths of an inch and then six and three eighths of an inch and then finally at eight and a half of an inch and then you want to turn it again and score it at two and three fourths of an inch. Now you'll want to make sure that whatever cardstock you use is heavyweight. This is 110 pounds. This is by Recollections. And so now I'm going to cut along each of the score lines, just the top half. And this first one, I started from the top and went down and then realized I probably should have started <laughs> from the middle and worked my way up. So I didn't exactly get my, my cut along the score line like I should have. Um, but I figured out the best way would be to start in the middle and work my, work my way up. So you're only going to cut the top half and then once you've scored, once you've cut this last little piece here, you want to trim the little rectangle off with your scissors. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to take a piece of double sided tape and put that on the outside flap and bend that over and then you're going to attach that to the other side. And so this is actually the same size as an A2 card, but when you open it up, it forms a box. Now I'm going to fold down three of these flaps and I'm going to leave the one flap straight up because I don't want that flap to fall back. And so now that I have this done, I'm going to cut some paper down to two by two and five eighths of an inch. I'm going to do three of these to cover the flaps that I folded down and then I'm gonna cut another piece for that piece that's sticking up. And so I decided to use some of the tonic, it's called Caribbean Tide and it's a textured cotton paper. And it looks really cool. I thought it looked like, um, like a pool background. So um, this uh, piece, this long piece, I did put the dimensions up on the screen. And so now that I have all of those pieces cut, I'm gonna glue them down to the box. Now that long piece was cut to two by four and seven eighths of an inch. And I am using Gina K's Connect Liquid Glue. It's a very strong liquid glue and I wanna make sure this stuff sticks. And so you see me trimming off the edges of some of this cotton paper. It's because those fibers didn't really cut well with my paper trimmer. So um, I didn't want the outside of the box to be just plain blue, so I decided to take some tan paper and I ran this through a wood grain embossing folder by stamping up, and then I decided to trim down the squares to the same size as what I did for the flaps, but just for the other side of the card. Now at first I only added it to the bottom half, but then I decided later to go ahead and add it to the whole thing. So this is my first attempt at making a surprise box card. 
so I had not practiced before filming this <laughs> um, in hindsight I kind of wish that I had made it look a little bit more like a swimming pool um, used maybe some wave dies across the top but anyway that scrap piece that you cut off from the cardstock in the beginning it was three inches so you're gonna want to cut that at three and one eighths of an inch and on that same side you're gonna score it at a half of an inch on each side and then you'll fold it to make a Z shape and this is what you're gonna put on the inside of the box to hold up all of those little images that I um, colored and cut out so here I'm gonna cut it in half I'm gonna cut it at one and a half inches on the three inch side and then that way I have two pieces that will fit down in there so in order for this to stay you want to make sure that you use some really strong double-sided adhesive and put that on each of those flaps and so this part took me a little bit it was a little tricky but I did figure it out so just bear with me so I'm using my bone folder just to make sure I have a good crease and um, then I'm going to use some strong double-sided adhesive and I'm going to put it on the outside edges of those flaps. So now I'm taking some acetate and I'm trimming it down to some strips. They're three inches by a quarter inch so they're really skinny and these are the pieces that will hold all of my little critters. So I'm removing the peel back from the double-sided adhesive and sticking this down in the box and this is the part that I was saying was a little tricky so you want to make sure that whenever you fold the card up flat that it's not bulging out so I did have to adjust this a few times but I did finally get it now while I'm doing this I wanted to mention that all of the supplies that I'm using to make this card are in the description box below and I'll also have a blog post with all of the dimensions for everything that I'm, I'm cutting out here. Um, I also link to Penny's video for her cute little B A2 surprise box card. And make sure that you click on the hashtag in the description box, Team Tiny Inspiration Hop, so you can check out all of the other videos along the way. And before I forget, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you're not already a subscriber. I apologize for going off camera a few times, but this little thing was aggravating me. <laughs> but like I said, I did finally get it. So now I'm taking some glue dots and I am putting three on the end of one of these strips so that I can attach it to the first little critter here, which is this cute little orangutan. And so I'm gonna put that on one end and then I'm gonna use some more glue dots for the other end and I'm gonna stick him in the very back since he's the biggest one. And so I'm gonna to continue to do this, add the glue dots for all of the different critters. Now I did wanna have like my beach ball sticking out and then the little toucan. I did attach the toucan to the side of the orangutan, but whenever you're putting all of your pieces down in there, you just wanna make sure that whenever you fold the card up flat, that none of it is sticking out because you still want it to be able to fit in your envelope. And so I tried to put the biggest critters in the back and then kind of make them smaller as they work forward. So I just attached my little alligator and now I'm attaching the sloth in the front and then I'm gonna add the beach ball and it's gonna stick out a little bit to the left. And then like I said, I'm gonna attach the, the toucan bird out off of the side of the orangutan. Now for my sentiment, I've stamped out the sentiment that says, I hope your birthday is a splash using some Catherine Pooler's ink in the all that jazz color. And then I'm gonna cut this out using a strip die from Simon Says Stamp. And then I'm gonna split the sentiment in half so that I can have part of it on the left side of the box and then the word splash on the right hand side. And then I'm gonna add my remaining critters. I've got the rhino and then the tiger up front. And so I'm just attaching this. And now I'm gonna add some of those leaves and flowers and some of the other things that I had colored and cut out. I'm gonna add that to the front of the box. And I had originally glued down my little toucan at the top and then decided to take him off and 
add the wood grain um, squares or rectangles like I did before. So here is my finished A2 box card. I think it turned out really cool. One thing I wanted to mention about Penny that she um, told me was a fun fact about her is that she lived in Japan and climbed Mount Fuji. So that's pretty awesome. Now, if you want more information about Team Tiny, we are a group of crafters that come together and provide hops each month. And we all have less than a thousand subscribers, so it's ad free. And so if you'd like more information, search us up on Facebook. Don't forget you can find additional card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages, as well as my website at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.